Plastics take the stage at an international exhibit in Amsterdam. The ingenious alchemy of coal and oil provides the material. Ingenious machinery presses and stamps and molds the material into a wide variety of products, articles for household use, as well as tools for industry. The horizons of plastic are lengthening and strengthening too. In the world of tomorrow, plastics will certainly call the tune. This is Malaysia, a nation of peace. It consists of 90 beaches and 878 islands. About 32.68 million people live here and each person produce 16.8 kg plastic annually. The waves and up here, the ocean. David Common is more on the story. He's reporting from the ground near Kuala Lumpur, and he tells us today Malaysia wants Canada to change its ways. Western world, and Canada in particular in this case, we do not want your low-value plastic because what happens is when it arrives here, it is inevitably burned, buried, or dumped somewhere illegally. What the citizen of the UK believe that they send for recycling is actually dumped in our country. the ship to Malaysia, we will return it back without mercy. Whatever waste pass through our log book is complement our existing operation. So, uh, previously, Sungai Kelang is like a floating landfill. The boat cannot go through. It's a lot of plastic inside in the, the river. And now you can see the river is generally free from floating debris. Other developing countries have a right to clean air, clean water, sustainable resources and clean environment to live in, just like citizens of developed nations. 